As you can see, Santa's on his way up the chimney. And same this end. Knackered. Right. I don't know. I've not done this for ages. I don't know what to say. Oh, good morning and happy new year. As you can see, Santa's on his way up the chimney. <laughs> um, yeah, happy new year. It's the first job back. I'm back from Sweden and ready to get started with, you guessed it, a lintel job. So, just show you now. Dad will show you properly, but as you can see, our task today is yeah. going to get set up and get, get at least one lintel done and hopefully maybe set up for the second one. Not really optimistic on getting two done in one day because there's a lot of propping to do. And with our track history with this house, was well, the front, we had to prop up an extra like five or six courses because it was um, brick oak was that bad. But anyway, I will uh, hand you over to the main man and he'll give you a proper rundown what's going on. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, priorities, Alex. We haven't got a radio up here yet. Lead. Yeah, got a lead. <clears throat> here we go. Standard issue lintel. Which is blown, rusted, lifted. So, usual stuff. So, we're going to take three out. Take away all this, another lead cavity tray. I think this is original. Looking at it, the brick's not been disturbed, so unless the window fitters have put that in. But we need to cover these windows up because these have been sprayed grey, so we don't want anything hitting them because we haven't got any grey paint to fix them. So, two windows. See how bad the lintel's gone? It's doubled in width, just lifted as it always does. And with it only being a pike above, it's um, not really much resistance there because it's just lifting up into the into the soffits. And same this end. Knackered. There you go. You can see it's doubled in width. <clears throat> so, and there you can see where that's followed the path of least resistance up to the. So I'm going to rake all that out with the grinder, repoint that. Another crack there, we'll get that. Done. I have to get that off the ladder because the scaffold's not central, but it is what it is. So we're going to take this plank out. It's a bit of a gap there, but we're going to put a strong boy in into the brickwork down there and a strong boy in the brickwork up here so we can prop it. Obviously we're on the first floor, so it's a bit, bit more awkward to prop. You can use those things that expand in the brickwork, but I think with it being two open ends, if we did that, it'd just push everything out. There's no resistance, it just move it. So we're on 25 past nine. So there's Dad with the acro, we're sending them up now. So plan is, sorry about that. Plan is we're gonna I was about to sneeze. The plan is these acros are gonna have to get propped under here, because as you see we're on the first floor. So what Dad's gonna do is he's gonna go under here and drill out a uh, a gap for the strong boy to slot in and then prop the acro up here we're going to get one here and there just so this big it's a big pike you see so we should make make sure it's secured he's going to get this next one sent up and then i'll pass him the drill down and we'll get this propped up and we'll be another step closer so see you in a sec Yep. Pardon? It's fine. Ooh. 
Good job I got back on my weights yesterday. There we go. The same mould with these, with these lintels usually, and again, as you can see, rusted to hell. Right? I don't know, I've not done this for ages, I don't know what to say. There's my boy with me up on the scaffold. Right, got up one first prop in, prop down on some of the strong boy down there. Suffocating me, oh. strangulating me. <laughs> Here's our problem child. There you can see the uh... There you go. You can see it's all rusted. This, um, this cavity tray wasn't doing much really. It just slipped onto the top of the, the tray and that's what it was like. You have had to cut the back of the bricks off to get over there. So we're going to take, take this off and um, Tuck underneath here, I'm going to leave a lip, tuck underneath a lip and seal it with a bit of um, no nails or silicon and then we're going, to, we're going to put another prop in in a minute with, this, with, it, with it all being moved already, it's obvious it's loose so oh, I've told them this Yeah, so, oh, have you? Oh, anyway, so next couple of bricks out, next prop and then we can get this first lintel in we need to go at least to the pillar so we can run the we're going to where the joint is there we can't put two upstands in so we're just going to do one continuous cavity tray across the two lintels so we'll have to go as far as we can and then roll the tray up and push push it over there we've done this before in one of our older videos yeah so um, yeah next three out Alex is going to clean up get the bricks cleaned up and then we're going to probably hopefully be ready for dinner time and then we can start putting stuff back for dinner after dinner that's the plan so what's the lead flashing for? I think the lead was built in originally. It's although not, it's not really doing much, is it? It's it's weird. It has protected the, uh, the steel the a bit. Way, yeah? It has protected the steel, but um, I don't know really. Instead of putting the tray over the top, I suppose this stuff isn't flexible like the, like the PVC we use. So that's just slipped over onto the top of that, and then the tray's caught it from underneath. But obviously there's no vents or anything put in back then. And even the cavity, tra cavity isn't that bad. But there's, only, there's not a lot of bullet really to drop in it. Um, yeah, standard issue stuff really. And we're just putting our, our insulation in just to hold the blown in stuff. And then when we put back, we're putting new, more insulation in, which is down there. So yeah, we'll get this next prop in. Get the rest of the work out as far as we can, and then uh, start building back. Just pick, I can't leave that in for, for a minute, Al. It's just got a bit of a lip on it to stop the shite falling on the window. We'll take that out. The last thing, got completely last thing, just for the lintel. Yeah. <laughs>
we've managed to keep the plank in which is good bit of a gap there but it's that's as safe as we can get it we might bring a couple of boards tomorrow just to put over the gaps a couple of spot boards we've got plenty of them but anyway this one's in this one's just down onto a strong boy into the wall it's a bit high that so we can't get another acre underneath it but that's not holding much this is the main event this one here which is near the center probably got the most have the most weight on it not that it's going to be holding all that weight don't forget it only holds the triangle above it but anyway this one's rock solid because i've put the uh, strong boy in lower low enough to get another acro down to the ground so this one here is solid so we can take out another few bricks here now get us past this window to give us room to brick up curly damp course up and generally get finished so um yeah while Alex is on the toilet I'm going to get these last few bricks out get it all cleaned off and um, get ready for putting the lintel in after dinner now the lintels need cutting down we can only get 1.8s we need 1.5s but we've got um if you look in that wheelbarrow right at the back there I can't zoom in but right at the back there's a tin of galvanized paint so I'm going to cut them down to the length we want and paint the end of the lintel so it's so it's protected yeah, we can get, um, probably take out to here. Take that out, take that section out, and then we can get this lintel out, and get our new one in, and get some brickwork across. Obviously it's all moved, you can see where it's lifted. There's nothing we can do about that without taking the whole pipe down, which we're not gonna do. So we're just gonna um, rake all that out, repoint it all, pack it tight, and brick it all back up new. So, um, enough for waffling let's get these last of these bricks out and have some dinner oh got a friend under the lid it's gone yeah so the, the lead's been doing its job it's only a tiny bit of surface rust under there so it's been quite well protected there see that a little bit of a wire brush and that's back to perfect so obviously that's how it's supposed to look and this is how it actually looks on where it's been weathered so um, get the blower out please see this isn't cowboy work this is just bad practice the way this has all been done watch out just give it a light blow there There you go. Look how much that's lifted. It's about 10, 12 mil that. That's all it takes, that tiny spot will lift everything. And then you've got here, look. And then it goes underneath as well. So there's what it looks like now. And there's what it looked like when it went in. Beautiful condition. So. Now it's get it's, it's silicon in, mate. You just need to oh. run a trowel or a knife across there. Okay, okay. So it's whip this out, cut the tray back. Yeah, it's, they've put one tray in, um, and then we're going to put our put it in back after dinner. Maybe try, maybe get the lintel on before dinner, so we've got a bit of a head start. I can mess around with the tray while we're getting the mixing. So enough talking. Let's get a bit more action. Get a live action little removal. Right, we're off. You take it to you. To me. Just watch that window. Right, you just hoist it up. Yeah. Got it. Have you seen the middle acro, by the way? No, it took a bit. No. What? Oh. This is solid. Solid. Have you seen the um, Alton Towers like light up tree? <laughs> What's the date on that? 2014, so not being that long. 
No, not even 10 years old yet. Nope. I don't think it will. How far up are you trying to get to take this out? No. Let's try. Um, just so it's got a little bit there. Yeah? Yeah. Just so we can get a lick for us to get underneath. Pretty, a bit, bit, little bit bigger than that.
bird's eye view of Alex. Oh, bird's eye view of Alex cleaning the mixer for what it's worth. Yeah. Rusty's good. It can be rusty if it's clean. Yeah. Could do with a good stone, but still when we get the chance. It could do with pushing off the edge of a cliff. It stays unnumbered. Hey, uh, Mixer. Yeah, feel free to donate a bell mixer. Yeah, anyway, back up here, up onto the scaffold. I'm just coming to the end of this one. There's the crack. We had a few loose bricks here, that's what the wedge is doing, of holding that just up, up while we get it pointed nice and tight. Put, took that tin tight with the chuck pointer, put a few bits of brick in just to keep everything solid. That's getting ground out tomorrow, maybe later. And yeah. Here's our first vent with our upstand, second vent, third, fourth, and so on. Rinse and repeat, same thing to tomorrow. It should be a bit quicker tomorrow because we've got more bricks out now than we have than we need to tomorrow. So yeah, um, that racker will be staying in, nice solid one. We'll take this one out tonight, and that's, this one will be going down that end. And I'm going to cut it in lower, if you look down there where I've cut it into the wall. I cut it in too high so I couldn't get the other acro underneath. So I'm going to cut that, that one a bit lower in the wall and double acro it like that, because that's absolutely solid. It's doing a great job. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five more bricks to put in, chuck point it all in, finish it all off, finish that bit off. And by the time I've done that, young one down there should be tidy and ready to go. Hey, we've got an extra half hour of light now, you know. Shortest day, it means we're not packing up in the dark. Shouldn't need our lights anymore. Oh, well, mate, you're putting ideas in my head now. Oh. He's gone. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. <laughs> right. Hey, I might have to move the video. It's video first. Premiere. Happy days, that's one done. So tomorrow we're going to be a lot more prepared. We've got our acros up here, we've got oh, everything's up here ready. So, yeah, all we need tomorrow is insulation and bacon butty. Try it Friday. Oh, yes. So, catch you tomorrow for this part. Sure.